their insult. They have power. With the hardworking people we have on the line, the energy to serve our community is boundless. Discover the possibilities at Right Rug Flooring with our huge selection of in-stock flooring, the lowest bottom line price, and even next day installation. The possibilities are endless. Your style at the lowest prices. Right Rug Flooring. The team at Atlas Butler wants to make something clear. We're always open. We have service technicians scheduled day and night, weekends, and even holidays. Call today, get it fixed today. I lost my sight when I was 14 years old, so I really navigate the world by touch. When Dove asked me to try out this body wash, I was excited that it was foam. It was so light and soft, not sticky. It's light. It's different. It's foam. These women love the scents in this groundbreaking art exhibit. It smells amazing. Luxurious. But what are they smelling? Wait, it's swab? No, it's not. <laughs> I can't believe that's a swap. Can I take this out? Well, Body Wash. Fragrance is as beautiful as Bath & Body Works. It's not a single store. Welcome to Big Sandy Superstore. Now at 6, Ohioans ordered to stay at home by the governor during the coronavirus pandemic. What you will be able to leave the house for. And new regulations for daycare to stop the spread of COVID-19. What locations will remain open? Plus, Ohio companies are racing against the clock to address the coronavirus test kit shortage. How long one company says it may take. Now, breaking news from NBC4. We begin this morning with breaking news. A statewide Amber Alert has been issued for a one-year-old boy that was abducted overnight in Perry County. Take a look at your screen here. This is a picture of the child, Steele Eastep. Authorities believe the toddler was assaulted before he was taken. It happened at a house early this morning on Township Road 430 in Logan. This is a suspect police are looking for, Storm Zeitler. Police say he has violent tendencies and should not be approached. Perry County authorities say he's not the child's biological father. He could be driving a red late 90s Ford Contour, similar to the one you see on your screen right now. The vehicle is believed to have a fake license plate, HXN4100. If you see the child, suspect, or that vehicle, you are asked to contact police. Now, we first told you about this breaking news alert via a mobile push alert. Be sure to download the news app right now to receive updates on this story and other local headlines. And good Monday morning, everyone. Thank you for waking up with NBC4. Today, I'm Matt Barnes. And I'm Monica Day. It is going to be another wet one out there. That it Ooh. is. And to give you an idea of when it will rain, meteorologist Liz McGiffin's here with your forecast. Well, for many of us, we're already starting to see a few of those light showers that have been working their way across the area. It's not a big heavy downpour, and while temperatures aren't cold enough for snow here in central Ohio, there are a few snowflakes flying around for the far northwest corner of the state. Meantime here, we have temperatures in the 40s, so it will just be a little bit of light rain we're experiencing all across the Columbus area, stretching up toward Westerville, Delaware. I want to show you the view down to the south and west because, again, while it may not be thunder and lightning or big heavy downpours heading our way, we're just watching for more of that rainfall streaming up our direction throughout the rest of the morning. Now, if you are getting ready to head out the door, the rain boots, the rain gear, still going to be a good idea. It might be a day where you just need the jacket with the hood since we aren't talking about that big heavy downpour, but if you will be going for a walk, Think about maybe those waterproof shoes. As far as what we're looking at for the rest of the day, heading toward lunchtime, so into the noon hour, we'll start to dry things up as showers push eastward, work our way to the mid 40s, and I'll we'll have a closer look at not only when these showers will be wrapping up in your area, but when the next round of rain will be moving in and your full forecast coming up. All right, Liz, thank you. Time now for us to get a look at the morning drive. Jen, is the, the roadways looking a lot better than Friday, I'm hoping? Yes, <laughs> on one hand, we are seeing much better conditions, especially here in the city of Columbus. Highways moving along at a much better pace. We're not seeing nearly as many closures as we did just a couple of days ago, but you will notice in a couple of spots we have some of that sheen on the roadway. As Liz mentioned, some light showers have moved through the area early this morning. So just keep in mind that you may see some wet pavement, but of course we're not talking about any of that heavy rainfall, a lot of high water, or any issues with visibility, at least here in Columbus. However, we are still seeing several road closures in some surrounding counties, Pickaway, Marion, Licking, all because because of flooding that continues from the last couple of days. But here, in, uh, if you're traveling near Pickerington along Hines Road, we do have a closure because some heavy rains washed out a portion of that roadway on Friday as well. So coming up after the extended forecast, we'll talk a little bit more about that closure, specifically how you can get around it as well. We have not a day to spare. It is time for us to do this. Beginning tonight.